players will be guaranteed at least $300 in prize money. Sorry, $250 in prize money if they win this match. But again, all players are seeking that $5,000 first place prize. Fong Yuen is quite an animated player. And so we'll look out for pretty exciting, really animated, loud match coming up. just went a little bit long as he has no hesitation in making sure he took that opportunity. And you'll see kind of in the beginning players are still getting used to this new setup from yesterday. And you'll see some of the service going a little long. And you saw it in the earlier match too with Ray Chao and Tian Ming. We're in the big leagues now. No more round robin play. Knockout rounds means you know, there's a lot on the line for each point. Aziz taking a good start, 5-2. Seven two lead. Again, a serve that just went a little long. Aziz is not shy in attacking those semi-long serves. Here we go, short serve. Fong Nguyen just trying to get into the game in game one. It can be challenging in a three out of five setup when everything goes so fast. Aziz has been playing well this tournament. Taking the Thursday title. From Westchester, living in the Westchester area, just north of New York City. He's looking forward to playing in a lot of US events, and this one is clearly one where he can take a lot of money. Eleven two dominating play from Aziz in game one. I think Fong Nguyen just needs to kind of get his head in the game a little. We saw his animated, exciting play from yesterday. And I think he's just not quite in the right mindset yet, but I'm expecting to see some really good play in the next couple of games. Fong needs to just take it up a notch here right at the beginning. And the second game is pretty crucial in a best three out of five. Nice block from Aziz. strong in a serve and attack and just as attack in general. You know, Aziz is really hunting for that 5,000 cash prize. Uh, Fung serves are going shorter. They're becoming more spinny. This is the Fung we saw yesterday and he needs to bring it 
this morning. Zifan becoming just a little tentative. I think he wants to rally with Aziz, but Aziz is not giving him any opportunity. And first attack is key. And it's the right idea. It's a good serve. And Funk has to loop that to stay in the game. 4-2. Well placed long serve deep in the back and a little surprising. And short serve and an opening. That's how Fong has to play to stay in it. And again, 4 4, we're going to see some bigger rallies as Fong kind of figures this out, wakes up a little bit, and the energy returns. Tail Hennis is so unpredictable. You know, I think we we'll can see a lot of change going on in these matches. Nice block, good movement from down 4 2 to up 6 4. Again, the tides can change so much. This is going to be one of the best matches of this round. Again, a serve that's just a little long. Fung himself looks surprised. He's looking for that half-long serve into the forehand for someone to give him perhaps a, a lighter loop so that he can counter loop. Nice light underspin. 7-5. Six out of the last seven points for Fong. Good spin. Aziz just didn't get his feet around that corner to counter loop. And then that crucial second game. Fong has a nice 9 6 lead. Let's see if he can hold on to it. Nice loop. Oh, and beautiful counter loop. Aziz has quite some power, actually, especially in that step around in these counter-looping shots. They can be very surprising. 9-7. And again, same thing, that step around down the line. Super strong. Important couple points here. Fong has to prevent kind of this big blast from Aziz. Short push, but too high. Three in a row, nine all. Fong has the serve. And we'll see what he chooses to do here. The difference between 1-1 one, one and 0-2 in games is huge. And here so is the prize money. A little top spin serve into the corner. Had just a little size when he's like kicked and turned the corner a bit, caught Aziz a little off guard. 10 9. As long as he makes this short, I think he'll have a good chance. Oh, he got a little lucky as he didn't make that shot. 
and it was probably just short enough. 11-9, one all in games. Very crucial match here. And for these two new, I would call these Carry Cup rookies, uh, it's gonna be an exciting way for one of them to move on into the quarterfinal. And they will meet players who have played in the Carry Cup for the last couple years. Both looking to make quite a big splash this year. Go one one. One zero. Nice step around, good touch here. It's gonna be a close one. Oh, nice edge. The serve can be dangerous that Fung keeps using kind of into the forehand. I think when he executes it well, he can kind of pick up that point right away, but just a, a millimeter off and it's, it's very difficult. Was still struggling a bit with Fong is still struggling a bit with Aziz's serve. Needs to be a, just a little more aggressive on that serve receive. Nice block. A little good touch there on that block. Very nice. Right into the backhand and short. Smart move getting Aziz is looking for that counter loop. That's something that's very interesting to see, and we don't see it too often between the Chinese players, is this well-placed block instead of going after the big counter-looping rally. 2-2. Two -two. Oh, almost. That just hit the top of the net and didn't go over. Phone going for a wide forehand counter-loop. You can see the wheels turning in these players' heads, trying to come up with the best strategy. See, the game is morphing a little bit. We're seeing longer rallies. Less, these, less of these unforced errors, these slightly long serves. Everything is very calculated. Nice placement on that first block, but then just a little hesitation on the second one. Nice block. I'm just going for that wide forehand. Again, just a little long. Three six. Best three out of five, crucial third game here. This point is important mentally. Well, got a little surprise on that server turn. Seven three as he's looking for a serve attack. No hesitation there. Kind of a miss serve by Aziz and Huang just big forehand smashed it. 4-7. Neither player have used their timeouts. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw one used in this game. Oh, very wide push. Sometimes those can be challenging to hit. Uh, 
Nice forehand. Aziz so strong on that step around. I'm getting a little surprised by these serve receives. You can see Aziz targeting his backhand. So a nice counter looping rally. Really good point going after that wide forehand. It's never really over, especially when these two players are so close in level until you get to the very end. So crucial point here. Important for the serve receive. We got a little lucky on that net. Important two serve points. And let's see if he goes to that forehand serve again. Again, kind of dangerous, but we'll see. I'm looking for that counter loop right now. Are very heavy. A ten. And serve receive super key. Oh, just that step around forehand. Just so quick and so strong. Aziz takes game three, giving him a very crucial two one advantage. We'll take a little break as the players think about their next strategy. I'll be here for the next game, game four. We may see our next qualifier into the quarterfinal, uh, but we'll see what Fung can bring to the table. I think he's figuring it out. Great opening rally to start game four. Fong getting used to this kind of backhand focus. Although he has to be careful, always playing the defensive kind of role in this match is gonna be really difficult. Aziz's forehand can be so quick, it's hard to play that defense. A nice placement on that backhand block. One, two. Well, no spin serve. Two, two, game four. Oh, nice block. <laughs> Looking for that loop. Those serves are so heavy. You can see the, the rotation and the energy that Fung is trying to do to get it on the table. Nice back 
into this big lobbing rally. This counter loop. Not easy. And no timeouts have been used yet. We'll see if either player will use them or they will save them for a potential game five. Nice flip. A little footwork for Fong just didn't quite get around. But that was the right strategy for that point. You can kind of see this aggressive, clearly placed rallies, these kind of strategy. This is what he needs to do to stay in the game. He's up 5-3, down one game to two. Let's see what happens. Yeah, definitely going for pushing in that wide corner and just waiting for that block. Aziz is strong on that third ball, but much less strong, actually, on the fifth. Fong's trying to take advantage of that. Nice wide forehand flip, 7-3. Go for that block. Look at that big forehand. A nice counter. Yeah, and it's not easy. Yeah. Funk's got to be careful on that serve. It just has to be executed so perfectly. And he knew he moved to that forehand corner this time. But it's still hard, even if you know where it's going. 7 all. Let's see if Aziz can take, continue this momentum and take it to the end. I know for sure he's not looking to play another extra match. Nice placement going for that big forehand. Clear strategy. As he's so powerful on kind of that first big shot. Yeah, yeah. If I were Fong, I'd call a timeout soon. He needs to kind of get back into this. Yeah. <laughs> it was quite an interesting serve. In, in the end, it was pretty simple. It's just a no spin. He was ready, he just got a little lucky on that block, hit the net, but he was ready on that backhand, eight all. Two game points here. See if we can force a fifth game. He's got the serve. Think about it clearly. <laughs> As he's clearly not happy in game four about those nets at the end, but what we know about nets is they're equal in the long run. And Fung led most of game four. You know, so we're all set for a pretty Crazy game five. It'll be 2-2. Two, two. Both players still have their timeouts. 
And we'll see who can win between this kind of tactical blocking and pick, pick attacking game versus Aziz just trying to kind of hammer it through in those first big shots. careful thought on how he's getting ready for this counter loop. As these first two points, game five, looking for a big forehand. Heavy underspin. Is these runaway start here? Four zero. Come on. Nice serve return. That's what he was looking to do earlier in the game. Looking for a weaker opening from Aziz and a big counter loop into one of the corners. Fong's so good at playing the corners deep into that backhand corner, wide into the forehand. 4-3. Four, wide into the forehand. Nice no spin serve, serving super wide into the back end. Get the score right after the players change sides. Very close now. Well, I'm good at this kind of anticipation now. As close as it can be, game five, five all. Winner moves on to the quarterfinal. Likely playing Jian Li, the number three seed. Big rally coming up. Nice angle. Aziz was ready there. So 
seven five. Funk just didn't quite get that momentum. And here's a good time to use this timeout. thinking about what types of serves to use, what's kind of the best strategy we're looking at, uh, maybe about six to eight points left in this game. bit of an unforced error from Fung there. Nice serve. 10-5. Five match points for Aziz see which one he'll capitalize on to move forward. Nice push. <laughs> really kind of under the table loop from Fung there. Stays in the game, 6-10. Oh, nice block. Sometimes right at the end, you have this last spurt of energy. You just want to stay alive. Fun careful here on the serve. Oh, nice match. And Fun did everything right in that last one, except for make that error. Aziz moves on into the quarterfinal. And Fung this time at his first carry cup will go home in the round of 16. We'll be sure to see more of him 